Godzilla fans are eating really good right now. All I'm saying is, is that Godzilla Minus One just came to American theaters, and apparently a lot of people are saying it's one of the best Godzilla movies. I would go see it, but have you seen ticket prices? Ticket prices are insane, man. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna wait. There's the Monarch show coming out, which I don't really care for, but I know a lot of other people will. And then we're getting Godzilla X Kong, the new empire. Shit looks pretty cool. Apparently we're getting Scar King, a, a new original monster. I'm excited to see uh, more shit happen in the MonsterVerse. And I, I would be honest, at first I did not like Godzilla vs. Kong at all. I did not think it was good. My whole rule when it comes to Godzilla movies is just... If the plot is really bad, then I hope the movie's entertaining. And I just found there to be very little monster action. The monster action that was in the movie was really good, but I feel like the lackluster plot took 99% of the movie, and I just feel like I just feel like there wasn't enough action or fun to justify having a bad plot in a monster movie. If the plot was good, or at least a lot better, then I wouldn't have minded. Or if there was a lot more monster action, but I could have just been a butthurt little baby. I'm probably going to rewatch the movie soon, and hopefully, hopefully I will like it a lot more this time. And if I like it more this time, then I'll probably be a lot more hyped for Godzilla X Kong. Pink Godzilla is looking a little... I don't know how to describe it. He reminds me of Godzilla 2000 with, like, his purple spikes. Or Shin Godzilla with his weird purple beams. You know, I actually haven't seen the Godzilla anime trilogy that I heard was bad or Shin Godzilla, which I heard was good. I feel like I need to catch up. I'm glad that we live in an era where we're getting a Godzilla movie that's trying to be fun and silly, like Godzilla X Kong, and not super serious. And we're also getting a Godzilla movie that's extremely serious and dark. Getting both sides of the odd Godzilla-shaped coin makes me very happy. And I'm actually pretty glad that the MonsterVerse is continuing despite me initially not liking Godzilla vs. Kong very much. There's a lot of untapped potential and I feel like they could really explore it with the Godzilla and Kong movies going forward. And while I like a lot of the new monsters you're trying to make, I do kind of wish they would use more Toho monsters and pre-established Godzilla and Kong monsters. Like, Anguirus would be cool. Orga, Space Godzilla, Violante especially. I kind of wish that they saved Destroya for like the final movie in the MonsterVerse, and he ends up being the one that takes out Godzilla and Kong. There's also a new Godzilla mobile game, which is alright. I mean, it's a mobile game. It's alright for what it's trying to be, but the only way that Godzilla fans could be eating more right now is if there was a fourth Pipeworks Atari Godzilla game coming out or something like it. But I'll just have to keep dreaming, because that's probably never happening. Who knows, maybe I'll make a video talking about what I would do with a fourth Atari Pipeworks Godzilla game. But that's only if I want to. I'm only doing shit that I think is actually fun to do for YouTube. I'm so sick and tired of wanting to do something and then being sick of doing it like a minute into editing. I, I, YouTube ha has become unfun. Unless it's something extremely specific like this. This is something that I'm actually enjoying doing right now. That's what I need to try and do in the future. Anyways, I'm going to play some old Godzilla games, watch some old Godzilla movies, and watch some of the newer ones I haven't seen yet. And hopefully the new Godzilla projects coming out soon will be really good.